Hi, I'm Katie Rickenbach, the breeder behind Beard and Brows Miniature Schnauzers, and today I'm sharing with you how I groom our dogs. This is Julia, she's going to be our model today, and I'm going to show you the tools I'm going to use. So Martin, you want to come up closer? I have a metal grooming comb made by Andis, a brush, a sharp pair of scissors. These were actually sewing scissors, but they're very sharp. So I probably won't using them, be using them for sewing anymore. And uh, and this pair of electric clippers. The blade size I use is number 10. That's what comes standard on it. And I have a cold pack because they get hot when you're grooming the dog. You don't want to burn it. So I have two blades I switch between and I set one on the cold pack to cool down while I use the other one. And then I also have an ear cleaning solution that I got from my vet to prevent ear infections and just to keep her ears clean. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in her ears. And it will evaporate out on itself. I don't have to do anything else. Just put it in. just a grooming arm and I guess you could call it a noose but that sounds like I'm hanging or I'm not so it goes loosely around her head and actually she doesn't need it but if you have a dog that's not being used used to being groomed you might need it so I'm just gonna put it on for that purpose to show you I'm gonna stand her up here and she doesn't like being groomed but she's used to it you can see her tails tucked she's not very excited about this so it's going to get loud. I'm going to explain what I'm going to do first and then I'm going to turn the clippers on. This hair is loose, or this skin, sorry, is loose right here. So I'm going to just pull it up so I can get down in all those folds and don't leave any hair long. And I'm going to groom down her back first. So I just pull the skin top when I do that. Then, let me come around here. I'm, I'm gonna, I already have this line established, so I'm just gonna stay with that, do the skin top. Go down the side leg. I like to go down all the way down to this joint right here, down the hock. Following that line, show off her leg muscles there when it's cut short. So I'm going this direction first, then I'm going down like this, just to make sure I get it off. And then I'm going to, again, kind of try to pull this skin so it's taut. And I'm going to come around and do the other side. And all the way down to that joint again. And I'm going to see if it's hot. It's not hot yet, so I'm going to do under her tail. I like to get it really short under here. 
make her stay clean, and then I'm going to go up her tail. She is a little sensitive about her tail, doesn't like it messed with, but she'll tolerate it. Oh, she's going to try to sit down. Stand up, baby. Good girl. So I'm always going on the back, I'm going to always go with the grain. On the tail, I'm always going to go with the grain. The tickle is jumping, honey. Stand up. All right, I'm going to test this on my face. It is getting warm, so I'm going to swap it out. It's pretty easy to do. I will, here, let me do it in front of the camera. So you push this in, pull that out, slide it up. Then I'm gonna do around her girl bits, so to speak. Oh, thank you, honey. It's okay. Do it like that. Okay, okay. I'll leave that alone for now then. I'm gonna do up around her neck now, so I'm gonna slide that off. Again, pull the skin taut. Oh, I never did finish that side, did I? Stand up, girl. You didn't finish your side. You can actually do it when she's sitting probably, but... Okay, since so she's not cooperating with that, let's see if I can get her to baby. Stand up. I know. But now I'm ready to do around the neck, now that I have down her side then. Maybe a little more right there. Alright. So around her neck. Really get up under the ear here. I am now going in reverse direction of the hair under the neck. So I'm... This is with the hair. I'm going against the hair. All the way up to her beard. Good girl. Then around her. So that's where I went with the grain. Or against the grain. Now I'm going back with the grain and blending the two kind of together. So back with the grain on the neck, all those loose folds, pull them tight. Then under the neck, against the grain, against the hair. You can go with it too if you need to just because the hair can switch directions a lot right in here. And then on the front, I'm gonna go a little farther down. Just kind of blend it into where it was on the meets on the side. So I groomed it.
There's kind of like two rosettes or swirls here in the front where the hair changes direction, and I like to go down to there. So that looks good. Finish back up here around the neck. You're fine. You're doing great. All right. This one's hot again, so this one is cooled down now. It's not cold, but it's cool. Now for the face. Actually, we'll do the ear leathers next. So, going with the grain, or with the fur pattern. on the ear leathers. Other ear. Again, same direction the hair grows. Okay, now I'm pulling the ear back taut. I'm just really trying to get kind of where the neck and the ear meet to that short. Turn the ear inside out. It's all wet from that ear cleaner. I should have cut the hair first. Then put the ear cleaner in. Okay. So I am going to go against the hair from the ear towards the eye, towards the beard. And get that short. Then with the hair, so here's her eyebrow, with the hair, across the top of her skull and down. And I'm really wanting to get that short around her ear. There we go. And I like to, she's got really thick, hairy ears, so I like to, oh no, should go with that ear trim off some on the inside, but it's kind of hard to do right now because it's wet. Trim on the inside of the ear. Other side. Start at the ear and go forward towards the eye, towards the beard. That really nice and short all the way up to the beard. I don't like to trim with the electric clippers past the eye. I like to line my, some people line their beard up like all the way up to here. I prefer the look of the beard starting back here. All right, hold the eyebrow down, go with the hair across the top of the head. There we go. And then I'm gonna start and go against the grain, starting here at the top of the skull and go forward. Stopping about when you get to the eyebrows. And then the other way and kind of blend the head into the neck and the ears. Hold that ear down flat, really get it good right down there where the ears and the neck meet. If you don't have two blades like I do, then you can do hand scissoring in between, which we'll get to in a minute, while you wait for your blade to cool down. I'm pretty much done with the electric clippers, and now I'm ready to go to the hand scissoring part. So I'm gonna, but just to double check, no, nope, sit baby. I'm gonna kind of back brush to see if I missed any spots and the hair is really long in a spot. Oh, like right here, there's a long spot. I'm 
and then just kind of go over it one more time if there's any long spots anywhere that you missed before. And I think that's good. Yeah, that's good, baby. That's a good girl. Yes. I know this is not your favorite, is it? But you're being so good. Yeah. If you have a dog that's new to being groomed, I highly suggest you do a lot of treating while you are grooming. Um, and when you're introducing the grooming tools to your pet so that it becomes a more positive experience for them. All right, so hand scissoring the face. Can you come around here to see the face? I like, she's a girl. So we're outside, so the dogs do see occasional neighborhood cats. I like to leave her eyelashes long, so I'm going to separate the eyebrow from the eyelash and hold that down. Hey, no, no, stay. And then comb that out so there's no mats or, I don't know, so it's all combed out. Hold those eyelashes separate. Then I'm going to start on the side here and trim it really short up next to the skull. I'm going to use my electric clippers right here in the back. Really get that short. Clean up around the beard so there's a stark contrast between the beard and the skull, or the beard and the rest of the head. There we go. So now, she didn't need a haircut that badly. I mean, it had been a, probably a little while, but... So I don't know if you can see the contrast, but it's short on this side. I haven't done this side yet. So I'm going to do one side at a time so you can see. And I'm going to keep trimming those eyebrows up. Sometimes I take the eyebrow. I'm still leaving her eyelashes separate. Pull it over. There's a bee. Go away, bee. All right. And then right here around her eye, this hair needs trim back too. So. being so patient with me. Yes. You're being a good girl, Julia. I'm just trimming what she's what they barking at. You hear them barking? Trimming that hair right around the eye, right there in the corner of the eye, trimming it back. Then I'm gonna come down in between the two eyebrows and trim that with my scissors. Baby, hey, I'm gonna trim that there too. It's sticking up. All right, so I think I'll even trim her eyebrow a little shorter. Hopefully, I don't get it too short, Julia. Hopefully, you don't end up looking bald. I'm going to pull that down, make sure everything's even. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. Yeah, you're a good girl. Oh, you like me better, don't you? Try to get her ear to dry. So that I can finish trimming that up. I'll show you what I do. That's that ear cleaner that's making it wet. So she did already have a bath and was blow dried out before we started. Um, it is good to start with a clean dog. I'm going to go in around right at the corner of her eye again on this side. 
because a doll, I'm sorry, a dirty dog will dull your scissors and your clippers. So it is good. It's trimming down in between the eyebrows here. It is good to start with a clean pet. There. Now. Little more right here. He's taken off, I think. You are being so patient. Yeah. Julia is three years old, so this is she's been being groomed lots of times. Before we had her, she was a show dog. Um, she won a junior championship. So before that, she was hand stripped, not electric clippered. So when we got her, that would have been the first time she was electric clippered. Um, All done. Put your tail down. You oh. don't like that. Let me see. Let me see okay, you... quit distracting her. She's almost done with her face and her body. Again, I want to get up really close to the eye, but I'm not going under the eye. So I'm Oh, by the way, since we have this close shot, this is what makes a salt and pepper a salt and pepper. If you see here around the eye, the hair actually changes colors. You can see that light um, color there, the peppering. So a salt and pepper has banded hairs that change colors. And you really see it around the eye. Okay, so right here next to her eye, I'm gonna trim that off short. Wait, I need to sharpen these scissors. Taking the electric clipper even. Really get that short. Flat against her skull. Trim up around the beard a bit more. There we go. I'm gonna go again right here and just kind of blend that in where I hand scissored. Blend between the hand scissored part and the electric part. She's getting tired of standing. I'm okay with her sitting right now. When I want her to stand again, I will put that around her neck. But I'm okay with while I do her face with her sitting, giving her a break from standing. Because before this, she was standing for the blow dryer. So she's been standing for a little while. Again, I like to keep these long eyelashes on my female dog, so I'm holding the eyelashes down and just comb that eyebrow over. Then I'm going to make sure these two eyebrows are even. Try to. It's always a little hard to get them even. You get one shorter than the other, then you shorten the long one, and then it's too short. So then you shorten the other side, and it's too short, and your eyebrows get shorter and shorter. So sometimes you just have to like, okay, I'm done. All right, let's see that baby. Yeah, that's my baby. Yeah. How are you, baby? See, how's your face look? I think I'm gonna hand scissor right up close to the eyebrows. A little more, take off a little bit more there. So I'm gonna turn her towards the camera. Oh, these scissors are getting dull. I might have to sharpen them before I do the next dog. Yeah, 
All right, now let's go back to the ears. Hopefully they're dried a little more. See if I can kind of fluff the hair out. Use the brush. So it'll dry if I fluff it, dry better. There we go. So you need to be very careful when you're trimming the edge here that you don't cut the ear leather and hurt the dog. So you, but if you feel with your fingers, you can feel there's where the leather of the ear stops. And I just feel with my fingers and then cut on the other side of my finger so I know that I won't cut her ear. And she has relaxed down a lot. Are you relaxing now, baby? And I'm gonna try to get all this hair here short. Again, I'm filling with my fingers where the ear stops so that I don't cut the ear. And I'm gonna use the electric clippers to do the inside of her ear now that it's drier. Cut as much of that off as I can. Going with the hair, same direction as the hair, so that I don't cut the skin. By going with the hair, if I was going this way, I could catch her skin and cut her ear. But when I'm going with the direction of the ear, and of the hair, then I'm not going to accidentally cut her. Okay, right here it's pretty long. I can feel where the ear stops. Getting down to the end here. Schnauzers have kind of triangle shaped ears, so kind of bring it to a point here in the end. And I'll even fill where the end of the ear is and just like that. Always going very carefully so you do not cut them. I'm just going to my electric clippers and so I can shorten that right there. Hey baby. There. And now I'm going to do the other ear. Again, turn it inside out. This is still a little damp from that ear cleaner. I'm just going to try to fluff it up, get it dry. Does that feel funny? Huh? She likes to be scratched, so I'm guessing that probably feels good to her. Take the clippers, go with the direction of the hair so I don't cut her. Take off as much as I can with the clippers. All right, now I'm ready to hand scissor the rest of that off the edge. Feeling with my finger till I get to the edge. 
and using my finger as a guard so I don't cut her ear. Just cutting only the hair. all that extra hair. So right now it's pretty short but it doesn't look even so just try to kind of even up any long hair. Hey baby. I think it's because my scissors need sharpened. 